finally here is the safe all put together where there used to be a keypad there is now a hard drive motor being used as a rotary encoder I had to cut this out the uh, key mechanism is behind this if the batteries die as you can see it is locked no tricks no gimmicks now I will admit it is a very touchy safe but that's good and bad you may have to enter your combination a few times but unless you know the safe you're gonna have a hard time getting in it so this is running off a Arduino Nano um, I had it running off of four double A's um, but the solenoid was uh, sucking down the voltage regulator causing a reset so I had to add some protection circuitry and I went to a 9 volt which was okay because the 9 volt fit right into the battery bay no problem so this turns it on when you turn it on it'll uh, it'll flash blue and just give you a start up five beeps okay five beeps you're ready to go so you put in your combination uh, this particular one is five three four so I'm gonna try to get it right the trick is you gotta you got to grab them and just do a swift quarter turn um, you just don't sit there and spin it and listen for beeps uh, takes some finesse so let's give us a shot Okay, counterclockwise three is the next combination. And now forward four, and if that's it, it'll beat four times. This will turn green and the solenoid will unlock. Okay, it buzzed at me and turned red, so. I must have, I didn't get it. One more time. <laughs> I'm still learning this thing myself. Okay, I'm gonna reset it. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. It's good to pause in between each one. One, two, three. There we go. And there we go. And then it resets. You have a five second entry. What do we got in here? Oh, schematics. Oh, if anybody wants to build this. It would help if I turned it right side up, huh? Just using an op amp. Um, those 10,000 microfarads are to get rid of bounce. Um, just doing a differential. Um, I mean, an op amp. Um, using the feedback loop and that goes out as analog data uh, those tiny motor pulses get amplified 
and it knows by phase what direction and velocity. The Arduino counts them. And uh, there's the LED section, power supply. Uh, I've got to redraw this. I don't have, uh, that's the wrong circuit for the solenoid. I actually had it backwards. But, yeah, not too complicated. I can figure out how to lock. Oh, okay. It is locked. And don't forget to turn it off.